Hi everyone, this is me from the future. So um, I realized that my intro wasn't very clear. So this video, I'm going to be building a fish restaurant, dumpling stand and a fish market. Hi everyone, uh, <laughs> Piggy here. Welcome to my channel. We're here today with this big build well okay i think it's gonna be big i'm not really sure what i'm gonna do yet like i'm kind of feeling a bit manic so i'm just gonna do it um i'm not really sure what i'm doing yet so all i've been doing is grinding hard on fishing and diving and getting so much random stuff i even skip forward um a day a, a day a month to get an isotope as well just to make this fish market um because like in my mind i've got this idea that well i hope i've got this idea that all my villagers are going to be pescatarian because otherwise what are they going to be eating and i mean i hope they're pescatarian and they're not like just eating the villagers that I've kicked out like I feel like that's gonna be like some kind of like horrible horror story where where like the villagers will like go and eat the village <laughs> and like eat the villagers that you that are gonna move out and and because they're moving out no one misses them and like that's where they go <laughs> all right but yeah anyway well the the game has on its own has like the fishing mechanic and everything like that so i assume that all of my villagers are going to be avid fishers and pescatarians and if not well they're getting this fish market anyway so anyway i really hope that everyone's doing okay and i'm really sorry that i started this video off with um animal crossing cannibalism <laughs> like Obviously, I don't think that is what happened. Maybe. I don't know. So, I've also been going a bit crazy on custom designs. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Especially with, like, the fact that you can um, download, like, you, I can get, like, 15 more now. Like, I've just been going a bit, like, AWOL with them. Hello again. <laughs> so, I'm back after putting some dirt path and some custom path down. And truth be told, um, this is like the sixth time that I've been like back <laughs> because I keep putting stuff down and then like not really liking where, <laughs> what it looks like basically so yeah maybe whatever time it is the charm now <laughs> I've like, I don't know what it is, but I just like have not been really liking what it looks like. So yeah. Oh well, it's just one of them things really, isn't it? Where if you don't like something, you're just gonna keep trying at it until you get to a point where you like it. I really feel like this whole video I probably could rename it to watch me <laughs> watch me put a si simple panel in the same place and moving it a little bit to the left and a little bit to the right and <laughs> a little bit to the left I also have only real um only just learned that these fishes actually have lights. I used to think that they were just, you know, as they were, but nope. They have their own lights. And I feel kinda bad that like they've just been like in the dark for so long. Like I've had like I'll I'll have them in my house. Like, just, you know, waiting for CJ to come. And I kind of feel kind of bad that, like, they've just been in the dark um, when I could have just sent a little aquarium layer. You live and learn. I just... 
It is generally something that I really love about Animal Crossing is that I keep learning about new stuff every day. I think I quite like how that looks right now, which is like crazy because I've been doing this for forever because I'm not, I wouldn't say I'm a perfectionist, but I definitely wasn't liking any of the stuff I was doing. <laughs> So I'm really self-conscious on the idea that like my island's going to be pretty cluttered so I don't want my lag to be so bad so I think so I've been trying to keep things like quite spaced apart but anyway I had this ridiculous idea that this spider crab was going to run this like fish like market <laughs> like mr crabs uh, <laughs> and um i don't know if it's gonna work actually because i don't know if you'll be able to see him like over it but we shall see <gasps> oh my god i think you can that's That's so funny. <laughs> okay. I really wish that we could put custom pass. Um, custom design on top of the custom designs and I feel like that would like change my life So if you haven't seen, um, and I'll be really surprised if you haven't seen this, but like um, people have been like making these insane umbrellas that um, that are like um, optical illusions. So it looks like crates. Oh my god, I think that they're like the best things I've ever seen in my life. 
and I may have downloaded like a ridiculous amount and went a little bit crazier with them but I think they're genius. So I've been trying to like really eat a little bit more health healthier um, since I'm probably gonna have to like go back to work soon. <laughs> so anyway I'm really struggling because like normally I don't live at home but I moved home because of lockdown and like my mum bought this like box of Twixes and if you don't know what Twixes are I'll put it on the screen. It's like basically this chocolate biscuit with caramel in between and like she bought a box of them and then like every time I walk past them I'm just like I just feel like they're just eat me hey eat me eat me <laughs> and I just have like no self-control whatsoever <laughs> Okay, so, right, this is what it looks like so far, so I'm going to put Rocco here. Is it Rocco or Rocco? Anyway, my baby. I'm going to put him here, and this is going to be like his fish restaurant. Um, and then there's a little raccoon dumpling stand. And then there's a fish market run by Mr. Krabs here. Um, and I actually didn't need... <laughs> a lot of these so I think I'm gonna sell these um, place Rocco's house down um, and basically I'm gonna skip forward a day um, and then finish it off hi everyone I am back the following day Rocco's house is all built he is here the cutie oh bless him um, and we're gonna finish it hopefully finally <laughs> i've been doing this for so so many hours now and i'm feeling a little bit delirious i'm not gonna lie so i'm just gonna fill all of this area Why is it that like when you're trying to like do something like put path down your village is always like hi what are you doing you okay <laughs> oh but she, god she's so cute though look at her sniffing right okay i'll be right back after i've done all of this okay i'm back i flushed it all out um i was gonna make it a little bit wider but um my baby coco um decided that this is where she wanted to eat her donut so you know I guess we're not putting it there <laughs> so I just need to finish I guess put some finishing touches in um, okay there so basically the theme that um, I know that I'm like feeling that I'm gonna go for is just like run down um, kind of like shanty town and basically that like um like an asian dystopia kind of feel where this like i just i don't know i think what i'm saying is that i'm making up a theme so because i don't know <laughs> really what i want to do yet 
So I'm just going to make up a theme. And my theme is like Asian dystopia. And it's like essentially like if this was once a thriving village um, island, but something happened for it to just go into derelict and the townsfolk is slowly um, building their building the town back up again which I've got like loads of ideas for because I'm I'm very temp like I'm very open to the idea of actually doing a story island um, but I'm not 100% yet did I just make one because I've seen some really good like ideas online like but uh, I don't know if they're just a bit too big brain for me and I'm pretty stupid so um, <laughs> I don't know if I'll be able to actually get get it done honestly personally victimized when I tried to pick something up and it either removes um, it removes a custom path on the floor or it um, picks up some flowers. I, I just feel personally victimised because I just obviously I don't want to do that. I just wish the game could read my mind. <laughs> so I also really like the the idea of the fact that like of like mismatched stuff. So um, I have a mismatch of different stools which I find hilarious. <laughs> oh, oh my, oh, just, uh, ah, <laughs> okay, composure, composure, is that even the right word, Co oh, Coco, you better not be getting in my way, <laughs> let me just compose myself, right, So eventually I'm going to knock all of this section down. Like this is like the first bit of terraforming that I've ever done that I ever did and like I've replaced like pretty much most of the custom paths on it. So I'm gonna knock all of this down and actually put Nook's cranny here, but uh I am not going to Oh my gosh, Coco's already sat in the little sushi. Oh. Going to just Tidy up the place. She says as she <laughs> she puts bin bags down, uh, but <laughs> I've also semi sprained my wrist. Um, <laughs> I think it's from like overstraining at the takeaway and the fryers being like I'm just weak okay like I, I'm just really pathetic so anyway <laughs> um, so it, I can't re I shouldn't really be playing games like I shouldn't really be on my switch basically um, but you know what there is no rest for the wicked. Hi guys. Well done if you have made it this far. <laughs> but this is my final walkthrough of my fish market. I've changed the time to the night time because I think everything just looks better at night time. But yeah, this is my fish market and fish restaurant.
with my raccoon dumpling house. Yeah. Um, eventually I'm gonna move pretty much everything. L um, not like, I'm gonna move Nook's Cranny here. Um, I think I'm probably gonna have to move this bridge, which pains me because um, you know, this is a spenny bridge, so, and those villagers do not, <laughs> do not be helping out with the donations, but yeah, I hope, I hope you liked it, um, I, I kind of, I'm happy with what I ended up with, I guess, <laughs> but yeah. Hi everyone, <laughs> please enjoy these 10 seconds of me hanging out at the pier with Earl the Isotope that I spent hours searching for. <laughs> but yeah, I really hope you enjoyed the video today. Um, if you made it this far, comment Earl in the comments. But yeah, I hope you like and subscribe and I see you again next time. <laughs> have a good day!